it came to Joe relative to how you walk into the shot, he was very animated and very precise about what he wanted you to do. And he used the way he approached the ball. He had these mannerisms where he'd walk, he had this little, he'd shrug, shrug his shoulders and sniff his nose. He'd walk in there and he'd take his foot and he'd stamp it a couple of times and then he'd set up to it. And he'd look and then he'd put this foot in and drop this one back and he had this and then he'd get ready to go and then he'd go. And he had, so you kind of watched each one of these, but each one of those little moves had a very important part to it. So here's what he wanted. First of all, when you approach the ball, the angle by which you approach the ball determines pretty much what your tendency is going to be with your aim. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I was coming into this ball and going this direction, okay, there's these quadrants around this circle. So here's one quadrant up here. Here's another quadrant back here. There'd be another one out here and another one there. If you watch the tour players, hardly anybody gets aimed to the right. So they don't get aimed to the right, swinging to the left. That's a typical amateur move. If they get aimed incorrectly, they'll get aimed further to the left. Now, why is that better? Well, if I get aimed to the left, and it looks like the target's out to the right. My tendency is going to be I'm going to get turned more and I'm going to stay turned to hit the inside of the ball. So I'm not going to come over the top because if I'm already aimed left, and the target looks like it's out to the right, over the top has no relevance. If I get aimed to the right and I think the target's to the left, I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to come over it. So most tour players, regardless of how they hit the ball, draws or fades, if they err, they're going to err aimed a little left more than right, most of them. You'll always find a few. So, Here's how Joe wanted you to set up. We're back to these quadrants. So when I come into the ball, what you're going to do is he wanted you to walk in from this quadrant right here. So you come in from this angle and he'd go and he'd set his right foot in and he set his right foot in perfectly square to the or the 90 degree angle of the target line. So he'd set his foot in like this, and then he'd set and aim the face. Now I'm still, every part of my body, except maybe a little bit of my shoulder, is behind the ball. So if you walk in from here, like this, if you err, you're going to get, you're going to tend to get a little aimed left with your shoulders. Why? Because when I step in like this, my right shoulders, my shoulders are going to tend to open a little bit. So you come in from here, aim the face. Okay, then once you get the face aimed, now he would take this foot and he'd go. And he just, he'd set it down right there. And then he'd drop this one back so that they were, they were pretty square at 90 degree angles. And now he was set up to hit it. So again, it was, it was one. Then he'd swing this foot in. He just kind of set it down. Then he'd go, okay, then he'd drop this one back, and then he'd look. So that setup, that routine, coming in from this quadrant, you come in, set your right foot, set the club face, step in with this, just let it swing into position, then drop this one back. If you get aimed wrong, you're probably going to be aimed a little left, not to the right. If you do this, which he hated. If you get past this line and you walk into it from here, almost no way are you going to get aimed correctly. You're going to get aimed to the right. So if I ever walked up to a ball to hit it, even practice, and somehow I got past this line walking into it, he go, what, what, what are you doing? I go, uh, sorry, <laughs> what do you mean? You're past the ball. Don't get past it. Come on, Mike, you know better than that. Don't get past it. You start yelling at me. So. After he do that a few times when he was around, you made sure you came in from here. Now I've done that so many times that regardless of where I hit a ball, there's the target. I, boom, 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 and I'm ready. I, I mean, I almost that's so a part of me now. I, it's hard for me to hit a ball where I don't do that. 
if you were threw a ball to me and I set it on the ground, I'd go like, I'd, I'd automatically do that because that's how I've learned to walk into the shot to make sure I'm aimed correctly. So Joe was big about pre-shot routine, how you walk into the ball. You walk in from the lower quadrant, right foot, face, eyes, left foot, drop back, check, and go. That was a big part of what he taught. So now if we do that relative to down the target line, because now we've got the same thing. So here's my quadrant back here. So I'm going to walk in from here, set my right foot, aim the face, drop my left foot in, drop my right foot back, and now I'm ready to go. So it's right foot, face, I'm behind the line, look, left foot, drop my right foot back, and now I'm ready to go. And you start to learn what this picture looks like. A lot of times Joe would walk up and I'd get set up to it. He'd come up and he'd, he'd say, stop, stop. And I'd be standing there and he'd say, he'd take my club and he'd stand into this foot and he'd stand into that foot and he'd set up like I was set up and he goes, I can't play from there. Can't hit a shot. Can't play from there. No wonder you're having trouble. You know, and I'd look at him when he got set up and I'd look at him and I knew what he was going to say and I didn't think I was there. So again, walking in from this quadrant is going to help you to learn how to always be aimed parallel to your target line or if you err a little left, then you get turned more and hit the inside of the ball. You won't want to come over the top. 